Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Medal of Honor recipients receive the following privileges and special benefits. A special Medal of Honor pension of $1,388.68 per month above and beyond any military pensions or other benefits for which they may be eligible. Special entitlements to space. A. Air transportation. Make your mark, take our lead. Free, Priority Space A Travel Medal recipients are granted lifelong access to the military's Space A Travel, which allows active duty military members, some veterans and their dependents to hitch rides in empty seats on military planes. MO recipients get preferred access, meaning they can jump the line. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Officers should salute other officers and authorized civilians of higher rank. Medal of Honor recipients are the exception to this custom, regardless of the MO recipient's rank. Officers and enlisted service members render the hand salute first. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Medal of Honor recipients are not sent back to combat. Rather, they are asked what they want to do, meaning what duty assignment they would like. They have many choices. They do not have to return to combat ever again. Take our lead. A special Medal of Honor pension of $1,388.68 per month above and beyond any other benefits including pensions. A special supplemental clothing allowance of $830.56. Free lifelong travel on Dodd military aircraft as a priority, Space A, traveler. Take our lead. This special pay is considered an entitlement tax-free, paid in addition to any retired pay the veteran is already entitled to. In order to qualify as a Purple Heart recipient, veterans must apply via their branch of the military meet the following conditions. Waive your VA disability pay from your retired pay. Make your mark, take our lead. Medal of Honor recipients are invited to every presidential inaugural ball and they never pay federal income tax again. Groberg, however, says the most memorable recent moment came two days before the ceremony where he received the medal. Make your mark, take our lead. Originally answered, can you say no to the Medal of Honor? Strictly speaking, a person can refuse any award they are given. There is no legal obligation to accept one, and quite a few medals of different kinds have been rejected. For political and cultural reasons, refusing a MO award is never done. Make your mark, take our lead. Public Law 88-77, July 25, 1963. The requirements for the Medal of Honor were standardized among all the services, requiring that a recipient had distinguished himself conspicuously by gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. A monthly stipend Every Medal of Honor recipient is entitled to a monthly stipend on top of all other pay or retirement benefits. 
This stipend was originally $10 a month in 1916 but has climbed to $1,299 per month. The recipient's base retirement pay is also raised by 10%. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.